Hi, and welcome to today's yoga class. Um, as per usual, I don't actually have anything really planned except for I want to do strength poses. So this will be a feel strong flow because I haven't been feeling strong lately. So that's what we're going to work into. So we're going to start at the top of our mat. So our feet are hip width apart. Roll your shoulders back and down. Engage your quads by lifting your kneecaps up. Tuck your tailbone down. Try and just draw your belly into the back of your spine. Reach up high through the crown of your head. And we'll start with sun salutation. So inhale, rise, arms up. And exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. You're going to bring your head all the way down. Let your hands hang heavy. Reaching your tailbone up towards the sky. Take your inner thighs and kind of wrap them around and back. That will help you straight, stretch through your hamstrings and bring your tailbone up towards the sky. Inhale to a half wing lift. Your gaze is forward. Draw your belly into your spine. Plant your hands. Exhale. Step back to the top of the plank position. We'll just kind of rock side to side here first. You can kind of dip your hips down. Pressing out through your shoulders, out through the bases of your hands. Warming up into your lower back here. Then find stillness. Shift forward, bringing your shoulders in front of your fingertips. And then exhale, lower down through chaturanga. Inhale, come onto the tops of your feet into upward facing dog. Just leap, leave the tops of your thighs on the mat here to start. So it's a little bit less sensation for your back. Trying to warm up into it. Top, press the tops of your feet down into the mat. That'll help you engage through your legs, which will release some of the tension in your lower back rather than crunching into your lower back. Roll your shoulders back. Tuck your toes, exhale as you press your hips back and up, pushing out through your hands, finding your way into downward dog. Then you're gonna press out through your shoulders, trying to elongate from the base of your hands all the way through your tailbone, reaching your heels down towards the mat, even if they don't fully reach. And breathe here, lifting your tailbone up towards the sky, wrapping those inner thighs out like we did in the standing forward fold. Taking one more breath here, just feeling any sensations. And then inhale as you bend your knees, shift your gaze forward, and then exhale, you can step up to the top of the mat. Inhale to a halfway lift, your gaze is forward, tailbone reaching high towards the sky, and exhale, fold. Take one breath here, maybe take your hands off the mat just to put a little bit extra weight into your head. You can keep a slight bend in your knees if that feels more comfortable. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, and exhale, hands to your side. Inhale, rise, arms up, and exhale, drop your butt down, sink your hips like you're sitting into a chair, lower your hands, and then inhale as you lift your chest up, drawing your belly in towards the back of your spine into chair pose here. I like to gaze up, and then exhale, fold forward. So press your hips up towards the sky, your forehead comes down towards the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant your hands step, or you can hop back to the top of the plank. Shift forward, bringing your shoulders in front of your fingertips, and then lower down through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, coming onto the tops of your feet. Here we can do a full upward facing dog, so your upper thighs are hovering off the mat, or you can stay in that more cobra upward dog if you'd like. Tuck your toes, exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Take one breath here, and then we're going to inhale, bringing our right foot forward, stepping it between our hands. Inhale up into a high lunge. So typically in Sun Salutation B, you go into so Warrior Three, but I think let's go into a high lunge. It's a bit more streamlined on your hips. So your front knee is bent at 90 degrees. You're on the ball of your left back foot. Taking one more breath here, and exhale. Bring your hands down to the mat. Step your right foot back to meet your left, shift forward, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, and then exhale, press back into your down dog. Take one breath. Now next, inhale, ring your left foot forward, take it to your head, and inhale up into your high lunge. I like to go up and then sink down into the hips. Wrap your left hip back slightly so your hips are in line with each other. 
really feel this opening through the front of your right thigh, right hip, or right hip flexor. Take one more breath here, and then exhale, bring your hands to the mat, step your left foot back, knee to your right, shift forward, exhale down through chaturanga, inhale to an upward facing dog, and exhale back into that down dog. We'll take a few breaths here. If you want, you can dip your hips from side to side. So to do this, I shift my heels towards the left. And this gives you a bit of a stretch through your right armpit. And then shift the heels to the right. And this will stretch through your left armpit. So I like to go back and forth. Getting a little bit of movement in my lower body and a little bit of stretching in my upper body. Try and move with your breath here. Just whatever feels good. Maybe find stillness. And then we're going to inhale, bend knees, look forward. And then when you're hopping towards the front of the mat, spring off your feet, press your weight into your hands, and then come to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, drop your bum, lift your chest up, coming into that chair pose. Your gaze is up at the sky. Draw your belly in towards the back of your spine. And then exhale, standing tall. Roll your shoulders back, opening up through your chest. Check in with your stance here. Dip your ear to your, your right ear to your right shoulder and your left ear to your left shoulder. And back, just stretching through the neck. Maybe take some full neck rolls, so rolling your chin down and around. Inhale, rise arms up, and then exhale, we're gonna cactus our arms, and then pull your elbows back towards each other. So you're pressing your chest forward, and your elbows are coming back towards each other. We're really stretching through the front of our chest right here, keeping your hands activated, fingers long. And then exhale, curl it in. So pressing your shoulder blades out behind you, and bringing your elbows in to each other around your front, keeping your arms at 90 degrees. Inhale, press forward. See if you can go a bit farther into that chest stretch than you did last time. And exhale, curl it in. Inhale, press it forward. And exhale, curl it in. Inhale, press it forward and see if you can start to roll your chest back pressing your hips slightly forward, getting more into a back bend here. And then exhale, curl it in. Inhale, press it forward. And then exhale, curl it in. Inhale, press it forward. See how comfortable you can go. If you want, you can also bring your hands to your lower back to just support you, opening up more into the chest, getting a bit more of a back bend here. And then exhale, bring your hands up towards the sky, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Coming all the way down. Grab opposite elbows, swing a little bit, maybe bend your knees. Just feeling into these movements, releasing through your back. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, press your hands down into the mat. Come up onto tippy toes and then press your weight into your hands as you jump your feet back. See if you can land in a chaturanga. Inhale, pressing the tops of your feet down, coming up into upward facing dog, rolling your shoulders back and trying to press your chest out through your shoulders. Tuck your toes, exhale, press back into a downward facing dog. So we're going to go into some of my favorite sequences. This is what I always like to do when I'm practicing on my own. So inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky, keeping that heel flexed, coming into three legged dog. Feeling the stretch in the back of your left leg. And also keeping that activation in your right leg. So we're not just holding it there flimsy. We're really strengthening and flexing into the leg. And then exhale, you're going to bring your right knee towards your right elbow as you shift forward into a high plank. Hold here. Three, two, one. And then exhale, kick it back up into three-legged dog. Stay here for four seconds or breaths. 
and then inhale, curl it in, bringing your knee in towards your nose, curling here, pulling your knee up towards your chest, your forehead comes in, pressing out to your shoulders, and exhale, kick it back into your downward facing dog, or sorry, three-legged dog. Next, inhale, you're going to bring your right knee in, coming forward to a plank with your knee coming towards your left elbow or left armpit if you can, holding it here, breathing, and exhale, kick it back up into that three-legged dog. Now you're going to bend your right heel so it's kind of coming towards your butt, and then press up through your left foot, shift forward into, it's kind of like a high plank, but you're going to gaze up as if you're trying for the crown of your head to reach your foot. Stay here, and then exhale, kick back into a downward facing dog. Release your foot, sorry, three-legged dog, now downward facing dog. And then we're going to roll through a spinal roll, so lifting your heels up, and then pressing your belly out, and like pressing out through your shoulders as you roll your body forward into a high plank. Bend your knees slightly, kind of Arch your back as you press your hips back and up into a downward facing dog. Do that on the left. So inhale your left leg high towards the sky. Keeping that activation in the foot. Pressing out through your shoulders. And then inhale, draw your left knee towards your left elbow as you shift forward into a plank here with your left knee to the left elbow. On your next exhale, kick it back up into that three-legged dog. Stay here for two breaths. Inhale, draw your knee in. Shift it forward, knee to nose in that high plank. See how close you can get your knee to your chest. Pressing out through the shoulders. And then exhale, kick back into a three-legged dog. On your next inhale, bring your knee in towards your left, sorry, your right elbow. See if you can lift it up towards your right armpit. Holding here, keeping activation in your left foot. I like to point my toes. Exhale, kick it back into that three-legged dog. Stay pressing out through your shoulders, keeping your heel flexed or pointed, either one, just keeping it activated. And then... Draw your heel in towards your butt. Shift forward as your gaze comes up and try and reach the crown of your head towards your left heel. And like a, I don't know what this is called, but this is what we're doing. <laughs> One more breath and exhale, kick it back up into your three-legged dog. One breath, exhale, release your foot down. In your downward dog, we're going to take a spinal roll, so lifting up through your heels, pressing out through your shoulders as you roll forward into a high plank, and then exhale back into that downward dog. You can keep the bend in your knees or straighten your legs for more sensation in your lower spine. Bend your knees, look forward, exhale, step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, and exhale, hands to your side. Roll your shoulders back. I always like to stretch my neck. Inhale, rise arms up, and then bring your right foot to hover slightly over the mat. As you exhale, you're going to kick your right foot back behind you as you lower your chest, coming into warrior three. So I like to wrap my pinky toe so it's down towards the ground, so you're not, your foot's not open parallel to the ground, your toes are pointing towards the ground. Draw your belly in. You can have your hands at your chest or out long. Exhale, bend through your left leg as you find the ground with your right, coming into a high lunge here. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink into the hips. Drop your shoulders down, draw your belly in. Exhale, straighten through your left leg, lift up through your chest, and then hinge forward bringing your hands towards the mat into a wide stance modified pyramid. Wrap your left hip slightly back so your hips are kind of square with each other in line with the front edge of the mat. You can drop your forehead 
really stretching into the back of your left leg here. Slightly bend through your left leg, so you're lowering your hips down, and then we're gonna spring up into a standing split. So press off your foot, kick your right heel towards the sky, coming into a standing split here. Again, point those pinky toes towards the mat to square off the hips. And then bend your right knee, draw it in towards your chest, and then press up to standing with your right knee here. See, you can grab your knee with your hands. If you have a bit more flexibility, you can grab your foot with your hand and strengthen it out or keep a bend in it, or you can even wrap a strap around your ankle. Either way, we're standing here with one leg it held and then bring your right leg out towards the side. Bring your left hand out. And again, you can do this with a bend in your right knee. It doesn't need to be straightened. Exhale as you kick your right foot back behind you come and lower down your chest, coming back into that warrior three. Exhale, bring your foot down, bring your chest up. Maybe shake off your legs a little bit. Inhale, rise arms up. And exhale, hover your left leg slightly. Kick it back behind you, keeping that heel flexed as you lower your chest, coming into warrior three on your left side. Wrap your pinky toes down. Draw your belly in. Stand tall through your right leg. Try and spread your toes wide and grip into the mat to find stability. Exhale, bend your right knee, find the ground with your left, and then inhale up into a high lunge, and then sink your hips down slightly. Wrap your right hip back, trying to keep our hips square with the front edge of the mat. It's always good to check in with your hips and your alignment because it's better to have proper alignment and have less, um, less visual of the sense. Of, of the pose, but more feeling in your hips rather than, I don't know if that made sense. Anyway, we're here, we're in high lunge. Inhale, you're going to straighten your right leg, lift up through the chest, and then exhale, hinge forward, bringing your hands down towards the mat. Your chest is long, your knees can be forward, or you can exhale and fold down towards your right thigh. Wrap your right thigh slightly back. Notice if you feel more sensation in the back of your right leg when you wrap that hip back. I know I very much feel more sensation. In just a movement as little as that, there's so much more sensation. Take one more inhale here. Then you're gonna bend through your left knee a little bit, sink your hips back. And as we exhale, we're gonna spring from our left foot, kicking it up towards the sky, coming into a standing split on your right foot with your left leg high in the sky. Wrap your pinky toes towards the ground, flex through your heel, let the crown of your head hang heavy. Take one more breath here, and then draw your left knee in towards your chest as you press up. Coming into standing with your left knee high. You can grab your knee and hold here for the next poses. You can grab the outside of your left foot and keep your leg bent or straighten your leg. Either one's perfectly fine. Have your leg in front of you and then exhale as you open your left leg to the side. See if you can bring your right arm out. Balancing here. Stabilizing through your toes, your right toes. Exhale, release your leg from your hand and kick it back behind you. Coming back into that warrior three one last time. And then exhale, release your leg down. Inhale, rise up. Maybe shake your hands, shake your legs. Straighten through the chest, drawing your ribs up off of your hips. And then exhale, hinge up the hips, forward fold. In this forward fold, just notice if you feel that your 
body is able to go down deeper if you feel more sensation or less sensation in your calves. Rotate your inner thighs outwards. So you're kind of pulling them away from each other around the back of the room to open up and lift your tailbone towards the sky. Inhale, halfway lift. Your tailbone's still reaching towards the sky, your belly drawing in. Plant your hands and then exhale. We're gonna hop back to a chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Take one breath here. And then inhale, bring your leg, right leg towards the sky. Bend your knee, curl it in, coming forward. Come onto the side of your left leg. Bring your right heel on top of your left thigh and then sink your hips back towards your left heel. Grab your hand, your foot, sorry, your right foot with your left hand and then straighten your left, your right leg out in front of you. Bring your leg forward, straightening through your left leg and then sink your hips back. Forwards and back. So you're almost coming into a side plank while you're holding your right leg and then coming into like a seated thing. Inhale back, inhale forward, one more. So sink the hips, inhale forward, release your right leg onto the ground, open up through your chest, drawing your left hand towards the sky, coming into a fallen triangle here. Exhale, bring your left hand back to the mat, pivot on your left toes, step your right foot back, coming into the top of the plank. Shift forward, exhale down through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale into down dog. We'll do that on the left. So inhale, three-legged dog, left leg high. Exhale, curl it in, bring it forward. Pivot on your right foot so your right heel is facing the left edge of the mat. Set your left heel on your right upper thigh, flexing your left foot. And then your left, sorry, your right hand is off the mat. Sink your hips back towards your left. Grab your right, left foot with your right hand. Straighten the leg. Inhale, lengthen, coming into the side plank. And exhale, sink the hips back. Inhale forward. Exhale, sink the hips back. You can also keep your leg bent. You don't need to have it completely straight. So just moving with the breath here, feeling strong through your left leg and your right leg, your whole body. We'll do one more. Exhale, inhale forward, hold it. Release the leg, press your hips up, bringing your right hand towards the sky, straightening both your legs, coming into that fallen triangle. And then exhale, bring your right hand towards the sky. Pivot on the ball of your right foot. Find your way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, lower down, all the way down onto the mat. You're gonna untuck your toes, place your hands underneath your shoulders, and inhale, roll up into cobra. I like to dip my ear to each shoulder, and exhale, roll down. Inhale, roll up. So I like to keep my chin tucked as I roll my spine up, and then my head is the thing that comes up last. Then it exhales, you roll down, starting with your lower belly, and then through your chest, and then curling your head in last. Inhale, roll up. The last thing is curling your head back, and exhale, roll down. Press up, keeping your knees on the ground. Sink your hips back into a child's pose. Take one breath here. Straightening and lengthening out through your fingertips. Feeling any release in your shoulder blades. And then inhale, press forward into a uh, tabletop pose. We're going to inhale, lifting our right hand towards the sky and then bend your left heel and see if you can grab your left foot with your right hand. 
flex your left heel and kick it as close to your butt as you can. So the more you're not grabbing and pulling your foot there, you're actually holding your foot there with the strength of your leg. So hold and then see if you can release and keep your limbs in the exact same position that they were in. Exhale, release both hand and knee back towards the ground. Inhale, left hand towards the sky. Hover up your right foot, kick it back, and grab your left, your left hand on your right heel. And then release. See if you can hold your body where they are. Using the strength of your glutes and your back to hold yourself here, rather than just pure force. Exhale, release it back. Press out through the shoulders and exhale, drop the belly. Reaching the crown of your head high, your tailbone high. Exhale, curl it in, pressing out through the shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, sink your hips back towards your heels. Lift up off your chest. Bring your hands in your lap. Roll your shoulders back, close down the eyes. Just take one breath here. One deep, intentional breath. Inhale, rise arms up as you sit your hips up. So your hips, your shoulders, your hands are stacked directly on top of your knees. Exhale, bring your right hand towards your right heel. Tuck your toes so it's easier to reach. Lift up through your left hand like somebody's pulling your hand towards the sky. And then tilt it slightly back, letting the crown of your head reach back as well, if that's comfortable. Trying to elongate through the hips and letting this stretch actually come from more of your upper ribs rather than crunching through your lower spine. Exhale, sink your hips back. Bring your left hand out towards your right side. Swing it in front of you. Release your right hand. Find your left heel with your left hand. Sit your hips up, reach tall through your right hand towards the sky. Exact same pose, but on the opposite side. Again, try and let the stretch come from your upper chest. So if you feel crunching in your lower back, that's fine, just you don't need to bend as back. You also don't even need to have your hand on your leg. Elongate through your spine and then exhale, dip your right hand slightly back. Exhale, swing your right hand around in front of you, sitting your hips down to your heels. When you come back, so your hips are on your heels, your hands on your knees, inhale, lift up, and then bring your thumbs underneath your armpits, kind of roll your shoulders back as you press your chest forward, drawing your shoulders back, and then see if you can touch the backs of your heels with this motion. Notice if you feel a lot more stretching coming from your shoulders and your upper body rather than your back. See if you can press your chest forward while still holding your heels with your legs, with your hands. And then exhale, release your forehead back behind you. Maybe you can sink a bit deeper into this back bend now that most of the stretch is coming from your shoulders. Exhale, lift up, straighten through the spine, reaching tall. And then exhale, bring your hands to the mat, tuck your toes, press your hips up, find a downward dog. Inhale, bring your right foot forward, stepping it between your hands, coming onto the side of your left foot. Swing your left hand back, coming into warrior two here. So your arms are long, your fingers stretching out tall. Your front knee is at 90 degrees. Your left leg is straight. Your gaze is over your right hand, stretching tall through your fingers. You might feel some sensation 
of the nerves in your arms stretching. Try and roll your shoulders back. Straighten your right leg. Draw your body forward as if your right hand's being pulled towards the front of the room. And then pivot at the hips, bringing your left hand towards the sky. Your right hand comes towards your right thigh into triangle pose. See if you can take your hand, left hand on your left hip, and just wrap your hips slightly back as you open up your left shoulder. And then bring your left hand back up towards the sky. Notice if the sensation now in your left hip is slightly deeper than it was before. You can also bring your chest up higher. You don't need to be down all the way to the ground. What really matters is that you're not collapsing your chest down towards the ground. So you want your chest to be open, parallel with the wall. Bend your right knee as you swing your body back. Your left hand comes towards your left calf. Right hand comes towards the sky, reverse warrior. Exhale, swing your right hand, comes down to your right thigh, left hand towards the sky. So in an extended side angle here, your left hand can be towards the sky or overhead for a bit more stretch. Remember still to just wrap your left shoulder and your left hip back. If you want more sensation, bring your right hand out parallel with your left. Gives you a lot more strength needed in your legs. Exhale, bring your left hand towards the ground. Pivot on the ball of your left foot. And then you can step your right foot back to meet your left. Or you can bring it up towards the sky, coming into a side plank. You can have a bend in your leg, a hover, or both your legs can be on the mat staggered. Whichever version of side plank you like. Then from wherever you are, whichever version of side plank, you want to bring your right foot, step it back behind you, and then press your hips up as you drop your right hand back behind you, coming into wild thing here. On your next exhale, your left hand is going to come towards, sorry, your right hand back to where it was in a high plank. Your body's gonna follow. Draw your right knee in towards your chest, pivot on your left foot, and then sink back into that figure four hip dip thing. Straighten your right leg out behind you, and then lift up your hips. Bring your right foot forward. We're doing the exact same thing. You can hold your leg with your hand or release it this time. Exhale, sink your hips back. Inhale, pull it forward. Exhale, sink hips back. Inhale, pull it forward. Bring your left hand down towards the mat. Find your plank, hips forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale into your down dog. Take one breath here to reset. And then inhale your left leg high towards the sky. Draw knee in towards your chest as you step forward. Pivot on the side of your right foot. Swing your arms up. Sink your hips down into warrior two. Reaching your arms out long, fingertips wide. Gaze over your left hand. Your left knee is bent at 90 degrees. Your right leg is straight. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Pull your body forwards towards the front of the room. And then hinge at the hips, left hand towards the sky. Sorry, right hand towards the sky, left hand on your thigh or your calf or hovering or on the block. Check in with your hips. So take your right hand on your right hip, wrap it back, wrap your right shoulder back and then open up again. Feel this sensation wherever you feel it. I feel it through the upper hip bone. You can also gaze down at the ground or gaze up at your hand. On your next exhale, you're going to swing your left hand, sorry, your right hand back towards your right calf, bend through your left knee, and your right hand 
left hand comes towards the sky. I'm terrible with my right and left, and yoga is a very difficult thing to teach when you are bad at that. So here we are in our reverse warrior. And then exhale, bring your left hand towards your left thigh. Your right arm comes up towards the sky or overhead to give you a bit more stre stretch in your right hip. And if you want more strength in going into your legs, hover your left hand, bring it parallel with your right. Try and wrap open your chest here. Keep strength in your legs. Exhale as you bring your right hand towards the mat, pivot onto the side of your right foot. Step your left foot towards the sky, coming into a side plank or a side plank with your leg lifted. Whichever version of the pose fits you best is the best version of the pose to have. So you can have your legs down. You can even have your right knee down if that's what feels best for you. Take one more breath here, and then exhale. Bring your left foot behind you. Place it on the mat, or kind of off the mat, actually. Wrap open your chest towards the sky as you draw your left hand back behind you, coming into a wild thing here. Pressing your hips up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your left hand towards where it's gonna be for a plank letting the rest of your body follow, drawing your left knee in towards your chest, sitting your left heel on your right hip, sink your hips back into that figure four kind of crouch. Straighten your left leg, press up into that side plank with your left leg forward, and then exhale, sink it back. Inhale, press it forward, and exhale, sink it back. So when you're pressing it forward, you're straightening through your left leg, sorry, your right leg, keeping your left leg straight at all times or bent. We'll do one more. So exhale, sink it back. Inhale, curl it forward. And then we're just going to come back into a plank. I forget what we did after that. So here we are in a plank. Diff forward, exhale down through chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Tuck toes, exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Bend your knees, shift your face forward, and we're gonna come into seated on our toes. Sink your hips down, and then bring your legs kind of slightly out in front of you. Roll your spine down, setting up for some back postures. So have your feet hip width apart. I like to reach my heels with my hands just to check my alignment here. Take one breath here, catch your breath. I need to catch mine because I'm talking. And then we're going to press through our heels as you kind of roll your spine up. So starting by lifting your hips and then try and lift as much of your spine as you can. See if you can rock your shoulders underneath each other. Maybe you can clasp your hands underneath your butt and wrap your shoulders in slightly even more. Draw your inner thighs towards each other. Press down through your heels into bridge pose here. Pretend that there's a block in between your thighs and you're trying to hold it there. So keep your knees drawing in towards each other. Exhale, roll. Well, unhook your shoulders and then roll your spine down. Bring your right foot out behind you. Flex your toes so they're pointing towards your face. And then we're gonna press up through the hips. We're gonna try and keep a straight line from our right heel towards our right shoulder. Lower your hips just to hover as you lower your right heel down. And then inhale, bring it up. Kick your right foot all the way to the sky this time. Exhale, lower it all down just to hover. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale down. Inhale, kick it up. Actually, inhale it down and exhale, kick it up. That feels better. Inhale it down and exhale, kick it up. Exhale, release your 
left foot, keeping your hips high. Hover your left foot over the ground, stretching it out long, flexing your heel. Inhale, kick it all the way up. Exhale, inhale, either way. Move with your breath, whatever feels good. So down and up. Inhale down, just to hover. Exhale up, really pressing down through your right heel. Inhale down and exhale up. One more, inhale down and exhale up. Hold it here. Release your right foot, keeping your hips lifted. Lower your hips down, just to hover, and then inhale, press them up. Lower them down, up, down, and up. Now you're gonna take your hands and hook your thumbs just underneath your hips. See if this feels good. It might be a bit too much stretch on your back. You, I don't know your body, so you only know your body. See if this feels good. If it does, you can walk your shoulders underneath a little bit more. If it doesn't, you can go back to that regular bridge where we're just having our hands clasped behind our back like this, lifting up through the heels. But if you have the heels of your hands underneath your hip bones, see if you can lift your feet up towards the sky. Draw your belly in, flex or point through your toes, press your chest out so you're kind of arching through your spine, and then see if you can lower your legs down slightly. Holding this takes a lot of coordination with your different muscles. If you can, lift your head up off the mat. I cannot, and then exhale, you can release back down. Draw your knees in towards your chest, curl your forehead in towards your knees, and exhale, lengthen out. Inhale, curl up, and exhale, down. So we're curling up into a low boat, and exhale, releasing our body down. Inhale, curl up into a low boat. So your chest is coming off the mat. Your legs are coming off the mat. You're drawing your belly down towards the mat. And exhale, curl it out. We'll do one more. So inhale, lift everything slightly up into a low boat hover. And exhale, curl it down. Bend your knees. Bring your hands behind your head. And then kind of bring your knees in towards your head. Rock forward into a regular boat. So you can have your legs bent at 90 degrees, your shoulders are drawing back, but your hands are out long in front of you. Or you can straighten through your legs. We're just gonna hold it here. So you're trying to draw your belly in towards your lower thighs, or sorry, your thighs. You only have one part of your thigh. Your shoulders are drawing back, your chest is pushing forward, the crown of your head reaching tall. Exhale, link your toes, set your hips down, coming into a cross-legged position. <laughs> We're going to do one last kind of hold. So you're going to, it's easier if you can put your legs into lotus. So you're going to take your one foot, place it on your upper thigh, and then your other foot will hook on top. If you can't do this, you can also try this in a regular cross-legged position. It will just be a bit more difficult, but it still gives you the same sensations. So place your hands onto the mat, and then see if you can lift your body up. So you're pressing down through your hands, lifting your knees up, trying to hover through your butt. Exhale, release. Straighten through the chest, drawing it up towards the sky and we'll do that one more time. So press down through your hands as you lift your hips up, your butt up, and exhale, release. Inhale, rise up through the chest. Exhale, bring your right hand towards your right side, left hand overhead, stretching through the side body here. And then exhale, swing your left foot, left hand all the way to your left side, curling, pressing out through your shoulder here. And then exhale, back up to standing, sorry, sitting. 
reach your hands tall, one last stretch, and then exhale, release. Um, you can stay here, take a little bit of a meditation and breathe, find a Shavasana, so laying down, relaxing your whole body, or end the class here. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this and feel strong in your body. I hope with the rest of the day, you can move with all your muscles and feel different sensations rather than you would different awarenesses in your body. Okay, well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Have a lovely day.